Welcome back everyone. Now we all know that props are essential to building any practical React application. In this video, let's take a look at a few basic prop types you're likely to use when creating a component with TypeScript. Before we dive into the code, let me explain the approach we are going to take in case you missed it in the previous video. For every video, I'm going to set up a few components beforehand. It'll be pure React code, which you should already be knowing. We will then proceed to add TypeScript to those components. In doing so, we can save time on writing React code and instead focus on TypeScript, which is what we are all here for. Let's begin. In the components folder, I have created a component called greet. For the JSX, we are rendering, welcome Vishwas, you have 10 unread messages. This component is included in app component. And if we head to the browser, the UI is pretty much what we expect it to be. This greet component though, isn't of much help as the data is hard coded. So let's begin by rendering a name prop instead of the string Vishwas. So in app component, let's add a name prop is equal to the string Vishwas. And within greet.tsx, props within parentheses, and instead of Vishwas, props.name. But when we do this, we get our very first TypeScript error. Parameter props implicitly has any type. This is an error that you'll encounter often. TypeScript is telling us, hey, you have not told me what is the structure of this props you have passed. You're saying it could be any structure, which I'm not happy about. I'm pretty strict when it comes to this and you need to let me know what is the type for the props you've passed in. So we need a way to inform the type of props to TypeScript. And we do that using the type keyword. At the top, we use the keyword type and we give it a name. Let's call it greet props. Now a component props is an object. So this is equal to an object. The component accepts one prop called name, which is a string. So within the greet props object, the key will be name. And the data type is a string. We have now defined the structure or type of the props that the component will receive. To inform TypeScript about this, after props within parentheses, we specify colon and then the type name, which is greet props. And just like that, red squiggly is gone in greet.tsx as well as app.tsx. TypeScript is happy with us. Seems like extra code, but this does give us two benefits straight away. The first one, when I type props dot, you can see the autocomplete suggesting we might need name. So I don't have to spend time thinking if I passed in name or F name or L name and so on. The second thing is that when invoking the component in app.tsx, if I try to pass in any other data type apart from string, for example, name is equal to 10, TypeScript straight away points that out. Type number is not assignable to type string. And this is a big win as we are able to identify issues when we are typing the code rather than figuring out in the browser. And this is pretty much how you type props for a React component. Now a question you might have is whether to use types or interfaces. When I started, 
I had come across an article that suggested use types when building applications and interfaces when building libraries. It is something I followed and is why I will use types in this series. Having said that, taking into consideration the latest TypeScript releases, there is hardly any difference in using one over the other. I would still recommend you use types as that will make it easier for you to follow along. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at a few more basic prop types to make ourselves familiar with the whole process of typing component props. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.